Hello, my little munchkins, my cones, and my sunflowers. How are you on Back to Life Monday? Well, I hope you had a glorious weekend. I hope it was filled with fun, rest, and tender loving care. Yes. I really do. Um, um, and for my sick and my shedding, the word for the day is encourage. Encourage yourself. Encourage yourself. It's hard, I know, but encourage yourself. Okay. Now, also with that being said, I have a pet peeve. <laughs> My pet peeve was I was all amped and psyched. You yes. know, I don't follow football. Ugh. No, not me. Too mm -hmm. masculine, too brutal. You know, ooh, just not. Yeah. It looked a little painful. Sweaty. A glimpses I saw. Sweaty and yuck, yuck. Just not my groove. Although, my family love football, women included. I don't know about the elderly, but I'm talking about the younger women, but no, not me. So with that being said, my pet peeve was I went to say, oh, well, you know, this is real good. Yes. I can look at the Atlanta. I can look at Potomac, and they didn't even come on. Ain't that something? Ain't that but a beep, boom, 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 boom. I was like, why we got to suffer? Yes. Why does it got this is the Super Bowl? I'm gonna say it. Only the Super Bowl. Yeah, it was only a Super Bowl. I'm like, God, the world shuts down. The market was insane. It was. What do you say to these things, baby Carl? Well, it was only an event, but from what we heard, it was a good event. Cal, I mean, and, and 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 say what you want, but Taylor brought that thing. Good luck. They 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 moaned and groaned, but they didn't moan and groan when they got that there going trophy. <laughs> no, they did not. Congratulations yes. to them. So go ahead, baby. Come. What would you like to say? Yes, I did see snippets of the game throughout here and there, and right when the game was ending, it was a tie between. The 49ers, who the Kansas City Chiefs, which is Travis Kelsey's team, mm. was going up against the 49ers. Mm -hmm. It was a literal tie, and they had to go into overtime. So mm -hmm. that just shows you how tight of a game it was. And just to find out that the Kansas City Chiefs made it out on top in the end, it's that Taylor Swift luck, baby. <laughs> she no curse. <laughs> she no curse. She brought luck. Yes, she did. If you believe in that, she was success. That's love. And for love's sake, each will stay. That's all I'm saying for tale. Okay. That's love. That's what love does. Love makes the world go round and it make you happy. However, I did not watch the game. Baby Crone probably did watch it more than I did. However, as for myself and me, I missed the halftime. Baby Cone seen it, but I didn't. She said she told me, but I don't remember. <laughs> so, but I did get to watch it today. Yes, and it was oh so good. We both watched. She watched it again. I watched it today. And what do I think about it? Well, I think uh, I think that uh, Usher did a fantastic job. Phenomenal. Wonderful. It was a lot going on. It seemed like a production, like I was at some kind of musical. But I dig that. I thought it was nice. And I think that he sang a lot of his uh, uh, ballad, I mean, his his music, a lot of his songs. He got as many of them in. I yes, think it did. was about 13, 14, 15 minutes. I don't know. No more than for some seconds. Or it could have been 15. I don't know. But nevertheless, he squeezed all of that along with Alicia Keys. Yes. I felt like um, there are people believing that she didn't sound good. I thought she sounded fabulous to me. I just thought she had a little cold. You know, it's allergy season starting to come around, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm thinking um, things are going to start blooming next week. I mean, next month. So, um, so spring is in the air. I mean, it don't wait till the 21st and then spring show up. No, no, no. Spring starts showing up a month before. Yes. Spring will show up like when next so month. Just in a few days, we'll be heading into Pisces season, which is the very end of winter. 
So spring, spring is just right? around the corner. So when literally. Pisces enters, spring is really here. And so you always have, just like before you catch a cold, you have symptoms, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is what this is. Well, enough of that. Gibbly gobbly goo. Yeah. So what do you think, baby? I, Kong? I really loved Alicia Keys. She I did. Gorgeous she was gorgeous. She was fabulous. Absolutely yes. fabulous. Her and Usher's chemistry was there. <laughs> and and you know, um, I've also heard people say he was too touchy feely. He got it from the bat. He does that to everybody. I mean, he was up there grinding on Kiki. He went up there and went up to Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore. I mean, he that's just who he is, and I love it. I think it's a good thing. And 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 what I loved about Alicia Keys is she just seems so in the moment, like she was just so giggly happy with she it. Was. I thought she did a good boy, a good. A good a, a good thing people you know and, and another thing you know she's getting how old is alicia keys okay oh you know that's a person i want to read on okay put her name down for alicia me. keys just turned 43. oh see they're getting up there you know they're getting up there to the middle age they'll be 45 soon you know it's it's inevitable but she sound good she, she really I sound good. I, I mean, it was a little rest where I just feel like you know, <clears throat> and the ah, <laughs> it was just a little. You know, she played it off good. She seemed like it. It did seem like she was straining a little. Yes, but <clears throat> excuse me, it could have been. It could be damaged through all the years of singing and hitting those high notes, or it could just be allergies, or she's getting over a cold. But the bottom line is, she showed up. Yes, she did, and she did not disappoint. That's how she I didn't. felt, and she looked fabulous. Yes, she so did. instead of looking looking at it on a negative, I'm looking at it on a positive that maybe it's allergies or, you know, <clears throat> something like that. What I was thinking, yeah, um, is her literally the singer and artist and also actor now. <laughs> her. She did a she did a little cameo too playing the guitar and she played she that guitar fabulous so good. absolutely and she looked gorgeous too she looked gorgeous but she played that guitar no offense she played that guitar like an angry black man <laughs> yes she did she played it and made it howl yes she did, she did she did that yes I thought I was looking at a baby Jimi Hendrix for a second <laughs> you know. But she did good. They all did good. And um, also um, Ludacris. Yes, Ludacris <clears throat> of his big fro. Oh and gosh. Lil John. Yes, and Jermaine Dupree. Let me tell you about my Lil John story. Okay. Once he was in Atlantic City. And um, this is a few years ago. This is like about five, six years ago. Seven years ago. Eight years ago. Something like this. This is bad. And um, and. It was um I don't know if I don't know if it was a New Year's I think it was a New Year's and anyway we were jamming and he was on the stage and that was when that song goes um what, what is the song Turn down for what Turn down for what <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and so when he was on the stage he took his glasses off and he looked at me right there at me and I was like. I was giving him eye contact, <laughs> but my boyfriend came and put his arm around me. <laughs> he, he killed it. And he did just like to put his glasses back on. Uh, uh, uh. That could have been a moment. I know. It's, he it's took his glasses off and he looked at me and he went. And, and I was like trying to give him that like, yes. <laughs> but I felt something come around and grab me closer. Like I see what's going on. Like, dang. So anyway, that happened. Um, yeah, I loved all the performances there. Um, I so much so that before halftime show even came, I was singing Usher because I saw Usher in a, in a Super Bowl commercial, mm -hmm. which is a very nice segue to somebody else. Who had a super did you, you talk about Jermaine Dupri? Yes, we did. I, I don't know what Jermaine he had Dupree. on. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he looked like a throwback to he one really of them black and white movies. Like I, I don't know. Like I like, see it. I can see it. Though. Like like I don't know. I want to say little rascals, but and I want to say like if he was on a little black boy they found on Dennis the Men like he go back like 
all too black and white. I did not like what he had on okay. at all. I, it could be new. I didn't get the socks. I didn't get the shoes. Mm-hmm. I didn't get the short. But he's, he he done did a lot to the music career. That's I would great. like one day to see Jermaine Dupree get his awards, his accolades. Mm-hmm. But go ahead. Yes. So surprisingly in the news, people are saying that Usher's moment at the halftime show was one up by Beyonce. I can't know. In that. her halftime. No not, way. In her Super Bowl commercial. No. No, no I don't even no, see it. No, it's no comparison. No. It was However, no comparison. Not, not at all. It was not nicely all. produced. I it will was, say that. Well, actually, can I be honest? Okay. Well, for the other one, the song that really sound country, I just thought the way she was dressed was totally unnecessary. Yes. And if, if I don't understand the lyrics, but I don't see how the lyrics and that work together. Right. It was Texas Hold'em. Now, yeah. Now, let me say this. Now, I could be wrong because I do like country music, especially old country. Mm-hmm. I like old country music. And every now and then they play some country songs that I really, really like, you know. Um, um, on a sidebar, there's this guy, they play his video, it's anti, I don't know what it is. What is the name of it? I liked it. I told you, did you hear? Oh, yes. His name is, um, Tom McDonald and it's called Facts. I really like that song. It's really good. It was playing it only at night, and I was saying to Baby Crone, I said, why do they only play this song at night? So we followed the lyrics, and I, I get it, mm-hmm. and I like it. And, and it and it went and it it went to the top. Mm-hmm. I so my point is that's a little country and a little Yeah, that's true. It's a little mixed. You know, I did like it. My point is is that I like country. I like all kind no, no I don't. I'm not feeling jazz. No, 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 no. If it don't have vocals, no. Mm-mm. Okay. And don't scat me. Get get it that guy. No, Don't don't have me. Don't don't don't. Oh, another thing, I don't like metal, hard metal, where they just go boom, 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 ah, 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 no. I saw a scene on that one. And you would dig that. You I know, you would it. dig it. I would be like, I'm nauseous. <laughs> so because of the way the stage is exploding and all that. So no, there is music I don't like, but I do. I like a, a lot of music and country is definitely one of my genres. Yes. And you was saying that when we saw Beyonce at the Grammys, she was looking like <clears throat> Texas money. Mm-hmm. Now we understand. So, yeah, well, I, I already knew that that was back at her roots. Yes. I knew that. And I just said that she had on her witch's hat if it was black. Yes. But other than that, yeah, she back to her roots. Um, one of the songs sound country to me and the other one didn't. Right, which was 16 Carriage. That, that did not sound country, but hold down, right? Hold them. Hold them. I didn't like the way she was dressed for that. I I I could be wrong, but I don't ever see remember seeing any country person dressed like that. Mm-hmm. What under, yeah. I just, I did, I think, no, that's what I didn't like. I think she should have, because it wasn't really nothing but her just standing up there showing her body. Yes. It wasn't no activity, it was in black and white, no activity. So she could have just dressed differently. I don't know. No, I, it I, just I, didn't fit. It's like, I got, this is my honest opinion. I didn't know what she's selling sex or what she's selling country. Because I'm not, Beyonce is country. She is just as country on that song. You hear that old Texas twine yes. she got there? You hear her? So, but I hope they don't trash. I, I don't want country to be trashy. I don't know anybody to go. I don't, maybe they have. Please out there, if you know someone, so this country person did a video and they was damn near naked. I, I didn't get the correlation with that at all. I didn't either. No, and, I, and I'm not joking about that. Mm-mm, no, there was nothing country about it. No, I mean, it was country. No, I'm talking about the way she was dressed. It was selling me sex. Like, what are you trying to sell your album? Or are you trying to sell 
me your body so I could buy your album. I mean, she did that I, for I, the I first Renaissance when she was posing. On I know. Them. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Well, you know, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I. I don't know what almost the bare naked, bare minimal is. I. I don't oh, know. Either. I mean, maybe, Scary. maybe, and and you got this woman in their forties. With children. <laughs> yes. And husbands and boyfriends. Living lovers. I, I don't understand it. So I can't say. Maybe, maybe deep down inside I'm jealous because my heyday for showing off like that is O V E R. Wow. That was pretty much it for the um that was Super it. We talked about Beyonce. We did did talk we talk about Usher? Yes, we did talk about Usher. We did all that. Yes, we did. Now we did have somebody else to talk about uh, um, as a side note from the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. which was Mike Alps and Shannon Sharp. Okay, how that relate? That doesn't relate at all to the Super Bowl. It was just a side note that we had. That yeah, we but that's so okay over there. But since you brought it up, go ahead. Nothing. Um, Pretty much with Mike Alps and Shannon Sharp, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. Shannon Sharp for, okay. So, whoever caught contact with who, somebody, Mike Epps, wanted to be on Shannon Sharp's show, but he did not be on Shannon Sharp's show. Because Shannon, so, uh, go ahead, go ahead, go, uh, go ahead, go ahead, you go ahead. No, you, you can no go. go, 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 go. Oh, okay. And Mike Epps is apparently salty about that. And Shannon Sharp caught wind of what Mike Elp said about him at his comedy show. And so now it's kind of like when I see you, it's on site. Like we might fight. I don't, and, I don't know. What's and, happening. And, and Mike Elp said, no, it'll be pow 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 pow. I hope not. No. And is it because he said that Shannon asked him to be on his show? Like is I missed that. Um he said that he was asking to be be on Shannon Sharp's show. Uh-huh. And but Shannon told him no. Apparently. I don't know. Okay. What was it that you I had? don't know, apparently. Because Mike Alps wanted to go on there after Cat Williams so he could share his side of the story. Okay. And apparently Shannon Sharp wasn't making time for him to get scheduled into the interview. And so I guess Mike was feeling upset about that. I guess because they're kind of like close friends. He was like, man, why aren't you coming, mm. letting me come on the show? So, Well, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, the news that happened over the weekend. Anything else? Um, we know the Kardashians will oh, be coming back soon. Yes, and we also know that Kim Kardashian and, and Beckham from uh, what I understand, she wants to go public with the relationship and it's something he doesn't want to do. Okay. Um, also, allegedly, uh, Kylie Jenner and Timothy broke up. Yes. Family was not satisfied, allegedly, mm -hmm. with her life, who she is. Understandable. Okay. And um, anything else? No, that's pretty much it. Um, other than, oh, speaking of relationships, Baby Carl, let's put this out there. We did get to see the trailer for Wicked, which Ariana Grande is staring, starring in. But I'm not sure if her significant other slash her boyfriend, Ethan, is going to be on there as well. Because that's apparently where they met. But I'm not sure if that was for Broadway or for filming this movie. But we'll see. We'll see. Is there anything else? No, nope, that is. Well, that's it. it. We just dropped in to give you the recap on the Super Bowl. We really enjoyed the halftime. I really did. I like Beyonce um, uh, music. Yeah. I, I like I like Hold Down better than I like the second one. Mm -hmm. But I did like Hold Down. I think that maybe that maybe that'll give her her um, Grammy. That may give her that Grammy that she so that her, everybody wants her so desperately to have, as if she doesn't have enough already exactly. it's just ridiculous to me and um and i guess everybody put her up so let's just say saint beyonce saint Be it's like she can't do no wrong and you know what's so funny about it this girl seems like she can't this woman seems she could do no world wrong and and yet this woman seems like she won't even lift that hand to really help anybody no and that's and I don't understand why grown women are fawning over her like this and 
I, it's, it's crazy to me. Men and women. Even, even back in the day with Janet Jackson, it wasn't like this. They loved Janet, but it wasn't like, let's have a Janet Jackson. I mean, you know, this yeah, is the way they hail Beyonce and think that she's entitled to everything. It's just too much for me. Yes, they literally mean it when they call her the queen bee. <laughs> and, and so much so, I also realized this about Beyonce. Excuse me. She didn't help Chloe with her album. Nope, she and didn't. word is on the cause. She's not a nice person, I think. I think she could be very snotty, but um, but word on the curve is she doesn't help people, she doesn't help women. And um, and I saw that with Chloe, Chloe and Bailey. She didn't even acknowledge Bailey at her concert. No. And um, and I'm sure somebody went back and told her who celebs showed up or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but even with Chloe. I don't want to pick on Beyonce. I don't. Because like I said, I have a love and dislike relationship. I, I love her and I dislike her at the same time because I'm starting to see one thing about Beyonce. I think she's not real. Yes. I think she's phony. I think she's into a lot of sugar honey. You know what I mean? I think so. And I think she's the type of person to hide her hands. Okay. I really do. I think that she done sold her soul a long time ago. And even now, it's like Kate Michelle has been into country forever. For the last several years, Kate Michelle been talking about doing com um, country. And so Beyonce now is going to go and do country. How fitting. Stealing people's <laughs> ideas. I don't know. This is just, that's what they say about Beyonce. She steals music. She steals other people's ideas. Yes. Okay, I said it. You can swarm over here. It's okay. But... I should be able to say what I feel about your beloved queen. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, we need to stop this. Uh, Hailing people on pedestals. It's a word that I want to use. It's not deifying, but we need to stop it as a culture, putting people above ourselves as God. Yes. No one is greater than you. You, yes, you, you should be the greatest person you know. Yes. And everybody else, even your children, they come second. But you have to be the greatest and see yourself as the greatest. You should never put anybody over you but you. Right. That is true. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> and everybody else is second or equal. I can love my spouse equal to myself. Right. But I cannot put nobody over me. There is no love that's greater than the love of self. And love of self is not being mean and crooked and wicked no. and, and, and greedy and not wanting to help people get ahead and always striving for something. I realized something about these divas. I, I wanted to know what is the difference between Beyonce and Kim Kardashian? Okay. Nothing. They both will take a job and grab. And no matter how many businesses Beyonce had, I don't know. The ones that we show, they always flop. So now I hear she's got a hair care line. Yes. She's got perfume. And she finally came yeah, out with wig. her makeup line. A makeup line. Is it a wig line or just a makeup line? Wait, who? Beyonce. Oh, no. Um, no, Beyonce came out with a wig line. A wig line? Kim came out with. I'm not talking about Kim. I'm just saying what they have in common. Right. They will do everything for money. Yes, I'm not will. saying it is bad. I'm not saying it's good. However, I know that Kimberly and their family are associated and they hang out together. Mm -hmm. And try to play it off to the public like they're enemies. They frenemies. Well, anyway, that's it. I don't have nothing else to say. What do you think, baby? Come on, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. Here, I think on the recap, I thought Usher was spectacular. Yes. I mean, he he was just wonderful. Yeah. And and not only that, let me say this: he came during the time right after he did his residency shortly right after we had Corona. So That's he picked true. the spirit, he picked the morale up, and he did a great job. But I wouldn't expect anything, anything. I mean, he had the mic to his mouth, so you know he was singing, and. He's a fun, he's just a, he's a goat. Yes, yes. He's a goat. He is a goat. And on that, sunflowers. sunflowers.